Beneath the rugged, windswept coastline of British Columbia lies a complex and unique ecosystem. This is the underwater world of millions of living things. And among them, struggling to survive, is the northern abalone. This creature is normally camouflaged and rarely moves, but can be surprisingly mobile when danger is at hand. His world is filled with predators, like sea stars and octopus. A quick twist with its one muscular foot sends this northern abalone around a friendly but prickly sea urchin. The abalone is guided by two tiny antennas, yet its radar system can't sense the uncertain future that lies ahead. That's why we have prepared this presentation as part of an action plan for the recovery of abalone. Haida Fisheries Program and Fisheries and Oceans Canada are working together to find out more about abalone and how we might help them to recover. One way we are doing this is through the establishment of abalone stewardship areas. These are areas where we have decided to focus our efforts to rebuild abalone. One purpose is to allow us to monitor changes in abalone populations over time and relate these to our stewardship work. Northern abalone once flourished in the shallow waters from California to Alaska. They are grazers that eat drift kelp and other algae. They were once plentiful in the waters around Haida Gwaii, but overfishing has led to its rapid decline. And much like other ocean species, abalone is facing an uncertain future. A healthy kelp forest provides shelter and nourishment for numerous creatures, such as fish, crab, and abalone. This kelp bed is not unlike the forests on land. A nearby urchin barren is like a clearing in that forest, where the resting urchins or abalone eagerly devour any drift kelp. We revisit sites where abalone have been tagged each year and look for live abalone and the shells of abalone that may have died. One abalone moved 10 meters overnight from where it was tagged, but it couldn't escape a hungry sea star. Here, our dive team is measuring the shell length of a live abalone. We are also looking into ways to improve adult densities with potential benefits for their reproduction. We have collected abalone from one area and transplanted them to abalone rebuilding sites where densities are higher. We are monitoring these sites to see whether abalone maintain these densities or scatter out. This is just one of the many efforts we are making to record and monitor the stocks. Abalone are an important part of Haida Gwaii culture. 
Since 1990, it has been illegal for anyone to take abalone anywhere in British Columbia. Despite a long closure, there has been no sign of abalone recovery in Haida Gwaii. If we wait and do nothing, then it will be even harder to reverse the decline. The island's community has made a clear choice to work together to rebuild abalone, and the result is the Community Action Plan. We ask for everyone to help us. Our goal is to rebuild abalone so that they will once again be able to support food fisheries. This is so we don't lose the abalone and future generations can enjoy them the way we once used to.